In this lesson, we're going to talk about the present simple and the present continuous verb tenses. And we're going to compare the sentences, I live in Paris and I'm living in Paris. Of course, I'm Jennifer from j4senglish.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you sound like a fluent, confident, natural English speaker. Now, before we go any further, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified every time I post a new lesson. Now, let's dive in with this video. In this lesson, we're talking about the present simple and the present continuous verb tense. This is a mistake that I see students making quite a lot, and this is a mistake that I see my advanced students make. Now, you need to keep in mind that when you use a different verb tense, the meaning changes. So when I hear, I live in Paris, in the present simple, that is different from, I'm living in Paris. The meaning is different, and I'm going to interpret them differently simply because of the verb tense you used. Now, our present simple, I live in Paris. Of course, to form the present simple, we just take our base verb, which is the infinitive without to. Remember, we need to conjugate this with our subject. So if it was she, it would be she lives in Paris. Okay, now we use the present simple for routines, like I'm sure you know. But we also use the present simple when we're talking about permanent situations or you can think of them as simply facts. So when I hear someone say, I live in Paris, I see this as a permanent situation. I live in Paris. I live in Paris today, and I'm going to be living in Paris for the future as well. It's a permanent situation. Now, let's take a look at our next sentence. I'm living in Paris. So this is in the present continuous. Now, of course, we form the present continuous with the verb to be conjugated with our subject. So I'm living, she is, she's living, conjugated with our subject. And then we need our verb in ing form. She's living, I'm living. Now, we use the present continuous for situations taking place right now, right? But we also use the present continuous for temporary situations. So when I hear, I'm living in Paris, I think of this as a temporary situation. So I think you're living in Paris right now, but you don't expect to be living in Paris in the future. When in the future? Well, that isn't clear. But when I hear it, I think of it as a temporary situation. And this is a big difference if you live in Paris permanently or you live in Paris temporarily, right? Because you can imagine if you go to a job interview and then you say to the interviewer, I'm living in Paris, well, they might not think that you're going to be in the city for very long. So they might not consider you as an applicant because they want somebody who's going to be in the position for a long time, but you are only going to be in the city temporarily, right? So that could have a really big impact. Or same thing if you're on a date and you're talking to a potential romantic partner, but you say, I'm living in Paris, well, they might think, well, it's not worthwhile to pursue this relationship because she's going to be moving in the future. So there's a big difference in meaning between these two sentences. So keep in mind, we use the present simple for a permanent situation and the present continuous for a temporary situation. So now it's your turn to practice. I want you to put in the comments one sentence in the present simple that's a permanent situation and one sentence in the present continuous that's a temporary situation. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, 
share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe. Now, before you go, make sure you head on over to my website, j4isenglish.com, and download your free speaking guide. In this guide, I share six tips on how to speak English fluently and confidently. And until next time, happy studying. So, do you live in your city permanently? Or are you living in your city temporarily? Hmm, that's a big difference. So I can't wait to read your two sentences in the comments below. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.